What if I told you a person got so impatient, all right, at an ATM, they decided to pull out, well, this. Let's keep that picture up. Now, you may think, wait a minute, am I looking at a potential robbery? Well, let's figure out the background. A Florida man, yep, Florida, is wanted after he was caught on camera pointing a gun at another man, making a deposit at an ATM. The video shows the suspect is a bald man with tattoos who is armed with a semi automatic handgun with an extended magazine. He is believed to be in his 40s or 50s and can be heard yelling and cursing at the victim before driving away. According to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, the victim said he was trying to make a deposit. That's all. He was trying to make a deposit at a drive through ATM when an unknown man pulled up behind him in a black Cadillac sedan and started honking his horn. The victim told police he got out of his van to get a deposit slip from the back of the vehicle. And then the two men exchanged words. That's when the Cadillac driver stepped out of his car, pulled out a gun. Anyone with information is asked to contact the BSO violent crimes detective, Jennifer Petrovsky, or submit a tip through the Safer Watch app. Okay, um, guns, guns, guns. Once again, it is so normative in the culture now that guns are literally being utilized to settle civil disputes as well as issues of impatience. The man was being impatient, hogging his horn, you need to hurry up, right? And then there's a gun, all of a sudden, why? Why do you need a gun? For a man who's at an ATM machine, I don't understand this. Uh, there are some federal rules that typically will apply, especially on the property of banks that have um, FDIC insurance. We shall see exactly what happens. Right now, the sheriff's office, they are looking, actively looking for this individual. They would like any information you could provide, please send it to them. You can't solve problems with guns, it does not really remedy a non-violent, non-threatening situation. It typically makes it worse for you and for the other person. So now the other person has significant anxiety. The other person is thinking about, my goodness, what will happen next? What happens if somebody hunks their horn? Am I worried about somebody pulling a gun out because they were inconvenienced slightly? And then the individual who pulled the gun, he may have a family. He may actually have a career, people depending on him. He may belong to an organization or church that he provides money for, volunteerism. That's all very possible. In that moment, sir, you decided to risk all of that at your age because you were impatient. That is the allegation thus far. Okay, Sharon, insanity here, thoughts? It is insanity and I hope they issued the bolo with high alert. This is a very dangerous, dangerous man, Dr. Ritchie. Another place I guess I can't go to. I never know the pin, I've got a bunch of different cards and I hold up the line, Hmm. cannot go to the ATM. Well, not Hmm. in Florida. No. It's not in Florida, right? Can't go to the whole state. (laughs) There you go, and and by the way, have you seen this Russia list of people that are banned? Uh, so, you know, I'm not on the list. I don't know why. You uh, will so be I'm, shortly. Right, you and well, Joe Scarborough. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and get me on that list. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah.